The Ural Mountains, remote, forbidding, beautiful, in 1959 this unforgiving landscape claimed the lives of nine hikers, their deaths shrouded in mystery. The Dyatlov Pass incident, as it came to be known, has captivated the world for decades. A chilling tale of adventure gone terribly wrong. What happened on that desolate mountain slope? Was it a natural disaster, a tragic accident, or something more sinister? The answers remain elusive, lost to the harsh elements and the passage of time. The story begins with a group of young, experienced hikers, led by the charismatic Igor Dyatlov. They set out to conquer the peak known as Ototan, their spirits high, their dreams ambitious. Little did they know that their adventure would end in an unspeakable tragedy, leaving behind a legacy of unanswered questions and enduring fascination. The group, mostly students and recent graduates from the Ural Polytechnic Institute, shared a passion for exploration. Igor Dyatlov, a skilled skier and experienced mountaineer, carefully planned their route. They were well equipped for the challenging conditions, their backpacks laden with supplies and dreams, the hikers set off in late January, their journey documented in diaries and photographs. They skied through the frozen wilderness, their laughter echoing through the silent forests. They faced harsh weather, equipment failures and challenging terrain, but their spirits remained high. They reached the village of Vijay, the last inhabited point before their ascent to Ototen. There they resupplied and prepared for the final leg of their journey. On January 28th, they ventured into the unforgiving wilderness, their fate sealed in the icy grip of the Ural Mountains. The hikers' last campsite was discovered weeks later, abandoned and partially destroyed. The tent was cut open from the inside, suggesting a hasty and desperate escape. Footprints in the snow led away from the camp, some barefoot or clad only in socks. What could have driven the hikers to flee their shelter in such a frantic manner into the freezing night? The temperatures plunged below zero. The wind howled like a banshee. Whatever terror they faced, it outweighed the dangers of the unforgiving wilderness. The scene painted a picture of chaos and terror, but it offered no clear answers. The mystery deepened with the discovery of the bodies scattered across the mountainside, each bearing strange and inexplicable injuries. The search for the missing hikers lasted for weeks, hampered by heavy snowfall and treacherous conditions. Finally, on February 26th, the first bodies were discovered. Yuri Doroshenko and Yuri Krivonyshenko lay near a cedar tree, partially dressed and shoeless. Over the following weeks, more bodies were recovered, some further down the slope, others buried beneath the snow. The state of the bodies, the strange positions they were found in, and the inexplicable injuries only deepened the mystery surrounding their deaths. The official investigation launched by Soviet authorities concluded that an unknown compelling force had caused the deaths. This vague explanation did little to quell the speculation and conspiracy theories that began to swirl around the incident. Section 5. The Enigma of the Injuries. The hikers' injuries ranged from the bizarre to the horrific, some had fractured skulls and broken ribs, injuries consistent with a forceful impact. Others had internal injuries, but no external signs of trauma, as if they had been crushed by an immense pressure. One victim, Lyudmila Dubinina, was missing her tongue and eyes. Another, Alexander Kolevatov, had severe burns on his hands and face. These injuries, combined with the lack of any logical explanation, fueled speculation of paranormal activity, secret weapons testing, or even extraterrestrial involvement. The official investigation failed to provide satisfactory explanations for these injuries. The lack of external wounds on some victims, the strange discoloration of the skin, and the missing body parts only deepened the enigma of the Dyatlov Pass incident. Section 6 Theories and Speculations Over the decades, numerous theories have been proposed to explain the Dyatlov Pass incident. Some plausible, others bordering on the fantastical. Natural explanations such as an avalanche or a freak weather event have been considered. Others point to the possibility of animal attacks, hypothermia-induced paranoia, or even infrasound-induced panic. Some theories delve into the realm of the paranormal, suggesting UFO encounters or attacks by mythical creatures. Yet, none of these theories fully explain all the evidence. The mystery endures, a testament to the power of the unknown to captivate and terrify. 
The Dyatlov Pass incident remains a chilling reminder that even in the face of scientific advancement, some mysteries may never be fully solved. The secretive nature of the Soviet Union at the time fueled speculation of a government cover-up. Some believe the hikers stumbled upon a secret military testing ground and were killed by a stray missile or experimental weapon. Others suggest the hikers were victims of Cold War espionage caught in a deadly game between superpowers. The presence of radioactive traces on some of the clothing and the reported sightings of strange orange orbs in the sky around the time of the incident have only added fuel to these theories. While evidence supporting these claims remains largely circumstantial, the possibility of government involvement continues to intrigue researchers and amateur sleuths alike. The Dyatlov Pass incident serves as a stark reminder of the Cold War's paranoia and the lengths to which governments would go to protect their secrets. More grounded theories focus on natural phenomena. One leading hypothesis suggests the hikers were victims of a slab avalanche. This type of avalanche occurs when a large slab of snow detaches from the mountainside, burying everything in its path. Another theory proposes that the hikers experienced infrasound exposure. Infrasound is a low-frequency sound that can cause disorientation, nausea and even panic attacks. It's possible that strong winds blowing over the mountain's topography generated infrasound waves, leading to a sense of terror and disorientation in the hikers. While these theories offer plausible explanations for some of the events, they struggle to account for all the unusual details. The lack of evidence for a large avalanche and the specific nature of some injuries continue to raise doubts and keep the mystery alive. Despite numerous attempts to solve the mystery, the Dyatlov Pass incident remains one of the most perplexing unsolved cases of the 20th century. The passage of time has only deepened the enigma, blurring the lines between fact and fiction. The Dyatlov Pass incident continues to inspire books, documentaries and countless online discussions. Amateur sleuths and armchair detectives pour over the evidence, each seeking to unravel the truth behind the tragedy, the allure of the unknown. The desire to find answers in the face of the inexplicable ensures that the Dyatlov Pass incident will continue to fascinate and haunt us for generations to come. The Dyatlov Pass incident serves as a chilling reminder of the power of nature and the fragility of human life. It highlights our innate desire to understand the unknown, to seek order in chaos. The story of the nine hikers, their dreams cut short on a remote mountain slope, continues to resonate with people around the world. Their tragic fate stands as a testament to the enduring allure of adventure and the profound mysteries that lie hidden within our world. The Dyatlov Pass incident may forever remain unsolved, but its legacy lives on. It serves as a reminder that some questions may never have answers and that some mysteries are best left undisturbed.